and three inches is the magic number because that's totally fine and acceptable and normal <laughs> average it's not too right? small it's not yeah no it's fine <laughs> What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Craft and Cart. As you saw, I finally got the welder. So we are back on the go-kart today. We're gonna be putting on this axle, as you can see here. We aren't gonna be welding anything else on, just the brackets, the uh, bearing uh, pillow blocks and all that stuff. So it's gonna get welded on to the frame, which we already have here upside down. Uh, we gotta do some welding where, or some grinding where we're gonna be actually mating all the, uh, the axle to. So I'm gonna plug in the grinder, get that going, grind away all the uh, paint that's on there and the impurities, and want that bit baby as clean as possible. So we're gonna start on that and pick you guys up. As you can see, we got the axle here. The only part that we're gonna be welding that's actually important is gonna be this piece of cold rolled steel right here. Yep, this piece and this piece on this side. That's gonna be the piece that we're actually welding and that's what's actually gonna hold the axle. But we're gonna do to get it, make sure that it's straight with the frame of the go-kart. We're gonna be using a couple of these just to go right up against the back side of the frame like that and that. And using the measuring system, as you can see, it is pretty close close enough for the work that we're doing. This isn't anything accurate. It is pillow blocks, so it's got plenty of room for angle this way, um, as well as like this. Uh, that's the whole point of having a, a pillow block bearing. So just as long as we can get it pretty close as far as distance back, that way we're pretty sure that it's straight like this. And then we're gonna be eyeballing it because the frame is a little bit tweaked. We're gonna be eyeballing down the tube uh, here along the full distance of the frame and using our best guesstimation as to what straight is. <laughs> as you can see, we popped the axle off, so we're left with just the bracket here. And I'm on the clean metal part. And if you look right here, I'm gonna bring her back, and three inches is the magic number, because that's totally fine and acceptable, <laughs> normal, average. It's not too right? small, is it? It's not. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so safety gear is important. We got our gloves. Uh, cover your arms so you don't get flagged and welding helmet. So uh, this one's carbon fiber, extra nice weld coming out of that guy. Since this is a three-hander, uh, Afton, we're gonna set you guys up. Afton's gonna hold the bracket once we get it uh, at the right length, and I'm gonna quick tack it front and back. Um, and then we're gonna go on, move on to the other one, do that one, and then we're gonna go back through and lay all the beads down, welder all the way along the seams. And in the future, we are gonna be adding some gussets just to add extra strength to it. But for now, we're gonna knock these out. Since they're like no other If only there was a way to 
Real quick, out of this side, a couple spot welds here, asses to this side. So if one fails, <laughs> yeah. if the right side of the go kart fails, yeah. Gideon the driver's side, <laughs> Aston the passenger. But yeah, so she's all welded on. Like I said, we are going to be adding some gussets <laughs> down here uh, once you do the engine plate, which isn't right now. So now what we're going to do is we are going to mount up the axle real quick just to make sure that everything looks good she still spins freely and we're gonna actually bolt her bolt her down pretty good and tight so um unfortunately we won't have an actual roller yet i'm still waiting on the wheels and tires that i ordered for this the old ones won't work because when you go live axle you gotta deal with some serious shaft so <laughs> the diameter is pretty pretty big so uh yes yeah, so we're gonna bolt this up and see how she looks So much off the line. <laughs> <laughs> so much dark and twisted the jack. Alrighty guys, so we got those uh, brackets welded on. Afton did the one, I did the other. And we got the axle on. Looks spins, nice. Yeah, it looks really nice, I think. She spins really good. Just threw the uh, brake rotor on for shits and giggles, but yeah, now as soon as those wheels come, uh, wheels and tires, she's gonna be uh, right side up again and a rolling chassis. You brought this chassis back to life. It's a modernized, ch it's a modernized chassis. Hell yeah. Do they know where this came from? This is an old, like, probably 80s or 90s racing go kart. Yeah, I, I don't think I went too much into detail over it. Uh, I think I mentioned how it had, uh, used to have a fiberglass body. It was like a NASCAR it was body. Like a shitbox, fairgrounds, NASCAR, yeah. oval track go kart. It had it had the teeniest tiniest engine. Bless our buddy's heart for donating it to us. But that engine had to go from the get go, and uh, so we yoinked that one off. That thing, the three and a half horsepower Harbor Freight. Yeah, it was from the '80s, man. It had it had a coffee can, one of the old oh, metal yeah. coffee cans, as a muffler. Do you want to talk about fart can? <laughs> Holy crap! So that's where this came from. Ditched the body. And now she's actually getting the love and attention she deserves. And she's gonna be getting like close to triple the power it had oh, yeah, before. And with the gearing and stuff, she's gonna be what we call a ripper. And when we're done welding on it, we might paint it. Oh, she's getting paint. Especially since uh, to cool down the welds, I sprayed her down with water. I was gonna throw some snow on them, um, but I had to spray them with water. Easier to clean up and stuff, so. She's going uh, to Yeah, yeah. Everything's got to, every, we're going to be sanding it and painting it. So, um, but first things first, get those wheels coming. Make sure that they're, uh, once they get here, throw them on. Flip her backside or right side over. And then it's all about uh, reinforcement, framework, engine mounts, uh, steering, throttle, and brakes. With paint in there too. <laughs> so simple. <laughs> some work's cut out for so it. simple. <laughs> And all before winter ends. Because this thing's lining up with the Civic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's all that I got for you today. We finally got the axle on. We got more parts coming. Uh, and we still have parts that we got to get thrown on here. So uh, appreciate you swinging by and helping me out. It was definitely a three-hander job for sure. For sure. So, yeah. If you guys liked your saw, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more of it, subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.